What's going on, family? It's been a long time. I haven't talked about the Chris Watts case, so I was looking at uh, The Dreading, and I love his videos. If you guys are not familiar with his channels, go over to The Dreading Man, awesome, awesome channel. So I pointed out a couple of things eight months ago about his interview, and I've, I've stuck, I stuck with this topic that Chris Watts took the bodies out in the back. And this goes to my, what is it? Uh, I don't know. It goes to say that I believe somebody else was involved. And that person, and I strongly believe, is Nicole Kessinger. So in this interview, obviously we know that we couldn't see if he took out the the kids and Shanann out in the front. But he did say something in his interview that said they possibly could have been taken out the bag. And I haven't, I didn't catch that in the interview. I watched this interview a thousand times. I honestly sit down and watch the, the, the full video, the dread. And love your videos, man. Don't ever cut your videos short. But we're going to listen to some of his, his interview. I know you guys watch it a lot, but we're going to listen to some of this and listen to what he says. And walked in the house and nothing was vanished. Nothing was here. I mean, she wasn't. She wasn't here. The kids weren't here. No, nope, nobody was here. What's your wife's name? Shanann. S H A N A N N. What's your What's your kids? Bella and Celeste. Celeste. Uh, C E L E S T E. How old are you? How old are you? Four. Bella's four. Celeste is three. And, and so, how many times did you try calling her? I called her three times. Texted her about three times just to say, you know. What's going on? Like I did, I, cause after that, for the after I called her and texted her once, it's like, like maybe she was just busy. Like it, she'd just gotten back, you know. Like everybody's probably calling her from her trip. She just got back from Arizona, and I figured just yeah, she was just busy. But when her friend showed up, that's what it was like. It it registered like, all right, this isn't right. Do you think she just took off? Do you think? I, I mean, right now I don't even want to just like throw anything out there, like. I hope that she's somewhere safe right now and with the kids. But I mean, could she have been, could she have just taken off? I don't know. But if somebody has her and they're not safe, like I want them back now. Like that, that, that's what's in my head. Like if they're safe right now, they're going to come back. But if they're not safe right now, that's what, that's the not knowing part. Like if they're not safe, I, I, last night I was, I had every light in the house on. I was hoping that I would just get just ran over by the kids running in the door and just like barrel rushing me, but it didn't happen. And it was just a traumatic night trying to be here. I'm gonna ask some kind of tough questions about your relationship with the kids. I wanted to point out that I can honestly see more clearly is the mark on his neck. I mean, guys, I, we all know that Chris Watts did this. I mean, we know he's in prison for the rest of his life, but there's still so many things that aren't answered, and it keeps me coming back to the Chris Watts case. Um, guys, I'm trying to make my comeback to true crime. It's just hard because I don't know if I'm not guarding the right audience. Am I not saying something right? I don't know if you two's being picky, but this is the first first major case I covered, and I'm still having doubts. I mean, I got to go look at my other video just to make sure that I try to put everything and cover everything. But honestly, after watching the Dreadens video, I just keep, you know, my mind is wide back open. And I'm trying to get to the part what he said, because the reporter said, how could the kids leave without their car seats, um, without the car, without the medication? They went out the back. He took them out the back. I don't know if him parking a truck inside the garage was just a ploy, but yeah, those, those babies were taken out the back. And I don't care what nobody says. We're going to have this debate for as long as YouTube is around. But, yeah, those babies were taken out the back. And we're, we'll continue with some more of the interview. Here we go. She going for a family trip? Or what? It was a Thrive Direct Sales. Uh, it was a local event that was down there between a bunch of leaders in, in the company. And that night, that day she was back, I mean. I, le I left work for work early that morning, like, 5 15 5 30 so like she 
barely let me, she barely got, barely got into bed pretty much. And, and, yeah, this might be a tough question, but did, were, did you guys get into an argument before she left? It wasn't, it wasn't like an argument. We had an emotional conversation, but I'll leave it at that. But it's, I just want them back. <laughs> I just, I just want them to come back. And if, if they're not safe right now, that's what's, that's what's tearing me apart. Because if they are safe, they're coming back. But if they're not, this, this, this has got to stop. Like somebody has to come forward. You spoken to her family, like her parents. Yeah, I've, I've, they've been in constant contact, like every hour. I mean, it's, I mean, everybody back in North Carolina and the East Coast. I mean, from Maine to Florida. What is her parents saying to you? Like, they're just like, like, if they need to get on a flight, just let them know. Because I mean, they don't, they, they feel helpless right now because they, they're on the opposite side of the country. I mean, this Colorado is, I mean, you can't just drive around and look. I mean, it's just like, you wouldn't really know what you're. So I did cut the TV interview off, but now we're gonna play just a little bit of him looking at himself, park gets struck him back. And I'm not laughing, guys. I'm just, I'm just, cause it's so, so unbelievable. So unbelievable that he was actually able to get away with this for a couple of days. Um, I don't fault the officer. Again, I would love to have friends like Nicole. I mean, she pushed, she pushed. But this video here is showing his, his demeanor, his reaction. And I'm surprised that the officer didn't get any clues. I mean, just the way he, the way he was not paying attention, the way, I mean, who was he texting? Obviously, we know who now. It was, it was, it was Nicole. But I don't think, I mean, I still can't believe some of y'all don't believe that Nicole was involved. And please stop the victim shaming. I know I'm going to get a lot of victim will. Shanann was this. Okay, Shanann was hard. We understand that. But that, but did she deserve to be done in that type of way? Come on. Look at his reaction. Look at his reaction. We're going to play some of the video. Here we go. Um, my detective just showed up, um, so he'll probably want to talk to you. He'd probably, like I said, he might have you call at the bank and see if there's any kind of activity. Um, because if there is any sort of action out there, his camera, so I would have got it. Like, right. had, I had, we had issues the other, other week when people were coming, were stealing stuff out of like garages and stuff like that. And I have park control. I right had your park right here. Someone, see I can see where happened. someone tried to jimmy with a flathead screwdriver over there, and it was just like. But if any action would have happened, any cars or anything left your house, I would have been like right in that area. Oh, it'll pick up anything coming down the street this way. You don't that Oh, yeah. Okay. Watch, I'll show you. There's nothing on here. We've already watched that one. But like, you'll see this car. Not that one. Oh, what? See what I'm saying? It picks up all the way down there. That's cool. He's next door. Can we go? I was talking about dispatcher. It'll be close for. Yeah, we can pick up cars coming this way. I get anything coming this way and making this turn. So, can you? So, here's the part. We're gonna, here goes the part. As they're explaining that, man, your family didn't leave. You are the only one to pull them back. Only if, only if uh, Nate had a camera in that backyard. I promise you guys, we would possibly be able to see him moving them out the back. It's possible. It's possible that 
there was a car waiting there. But it also could be possible that he loaded them in the truck. It's, you know, it's no definite. None whatsoever. But this is just my belief. But we'll listen to some more. Here we go. Let me know guys if you 